Are you looking for ways to become more effective and efficient in the ministry? Today we're going to talk about one of the key tools that we use to mobilize our ministers across Asia. And I know that you're going to love what you find on Continuum today. Imagine yourself as a Christian leader in a nation like Pakistan or the Philippines or Nepal or one of those kind of obscure places and you get an email from your sending team from us in Thailand, a great team of ministry people that love you and you click on the link on the email and it takes you to a YouTube video of a leadership principle that you can employ in your ministry today that not only encourages you in what you're doing, but you can make use of it to become more effective in the ministry. And today we're talking on Continuum about a tool that we use to mobilize and to train our leaders across Asia and in many other parts of the world. And today we're gonna to make this available to you as well. You're gonna love this. It's called Continuum Leadership resources and basically most of them are 10 minute videos that you can download onto your computer you can get them through itunes or you can get them on youtube facebook whatever is the easiest way for you to get them and these videos are full of little leadership principles presented in a way that are not only easy to remember but they're a lot of fun so you'll find you know monkeys on motorbikes and how we make a barbecue in thailand and a lot of these kind of ideas that we've just put together in really high quality high impact videos so that you can keep them. They're a lot of fun. I mean, I go back and look at them myself and get stirred up about some of the things that God has shown us in the past that have become effective ministry principles or effective tools, understanding of leadership. You know, as leaders, we really do need to grow ourselves. We really do need a lot of input to spark the ideas and to stir the passion that God has given us to become successful in what he's called us to do. And I know it's the same thing for you. And so today we're going to make this available to you. And we want to really encourage you to go. We'll show you some of these uh, actual see all our episodes in the program today. But I want you to be conscious that you know what? You can go to continuamedia.com and get a lot more of these. You can become friends with us on Facebook and those kind of places and make uh, have all of those things available to you. Now again, this really is a kind of a guy thing and you know some of the girls think, may think this is a little bit quirky, but we have a lot of fun in showing the principles of leadership and the uh, and, you know really the truths, solid truths of leadership. When you think about it, God has called us from where we are right now to accomplish something great in the world. How are you going to do great exploits? We need this equipping, we need these ideas, we need this understanding, we need this training. But you know, in the past, a 45 minute sermon or you know, an hour and a half sermon even sometimes or a great big fat book, we could sit and read it and learn from it. But what if we condensed all of that into 10 minutes of high impact, visual and you know, audio and laid out in point form as well, things that we can get a hold of and even make our own messages and expand from. I tell you what, these things are very powerful and they're a great blessing in many of our leaders' lives. And so we send them out, try to send them out once a month to all of our guys that are you know, kind of sent from this part of the ministry. And they really love it when they get it because you know what? It's an encouragement, it's something fresh, it's a new idea, and it sparks again that passion that we indeed are called to do great exploits for the kingdom of God. Continuum, a continuous extent, succession, or whole, no part of which can be distinguished from neighboring parts except by arbitrary division. In a continuum, there are no boundaries. But as you and I move toward the success God has called us to, we come up against many things that appear to be limitations. Being resourceful actually is one of the keys to being successful in what God has called you to do. So many people are looking for the resources they need to do the work that God has called them to do, and they can't seem 
to find those resources, but there's a key in our creativity that helps us discover and root out, draw out, pull out, and put to use the resources that God has given us, because I believe that everything that we need is within reach, and we can reach it from where we are right now if we just open our eyes and know what we're gonna, today I wanna show you how we make a barbecue in Thailand. We go to the junk dealer and we get a 45 gallon drum, and uh, in this 45 gallon drum, we cut it in half. Actually, we can make two barbecues. All right, so, hey, we already made one. Look at this. Here's a barbecue right here. We lay this down, put some legs on it, put a grate over it, fill it with uh, some sand, and uh, tonight, we're gonna have barbecued ribs. So we've actually had to learn to do a lot of things around here, and uh, there's a whole box full of car parts, and in here is a car. We brought it in the shop here, welded the holes in the floor, you know, it was rusted through, fixed that all up, re-undercoating it, and uh, now painting it. Our mechanic here is painting it. It just does a tremendous job, and it's amazing what you can do with nothing if you're just resourceful. In Thailand, when we paint cars, we don't use a, a paint booth like we would in the West, where it's a dust-free environment, you know, where the fumes are drawn out and so on. We just paint it. And then at the end, it's got dust and everything all over, you know, flies have landed in it, whatever. And then he does an extra couple coats of clear coat on it. Then he sands it down with like 1200 grit sandpaper and polishes the whole thing off. So he puts his own finish on it, resourcefulness. That barbecue that we're making, well, we're gonna turn it into a forge today because my wife wants me to hang curtains in the living room at our home. What we're doing is making our own curtain rod hangers. I've made rods out of, out of teak dowel uh, uh, to hang the curtains on and so on. My wife found the curtains in the Philippines for uh, was it 250 Filipino pesos, which is about three bucks or something. And uh, so, but now we need to make the curtain rods. So I'm gonna cut the steel and then before we cook the ribs today, we are going to heat the steel up and bend it into the shape that we need for the curtain rods. I'm believing this is gonna work, all right? We'll just give them a real rustic look. That way we don't have to spend too much time sharpening and polishing. All right, a couple holes for the screws. Okay, let's go home and fire up the barbecue. Tonight we're gonna have ribs, barbecued ribs, but first I have to make the curtain hangers for my wife, and uh, we're gonna see how well that this thing works for forge. I got a piece of pipe here. I'm gonna stick this in here through the bung hole, and then we're gonna get a fan Try and get some air right into the middle of the coals so that that'll really, you know, work like a forge. Esther, give me the camera and can you run and get your fan? Thank you, honey. Okay, fan from your bedroom. That's great. You want to just put it down there by the front of that thing? We're going to blow it into that pipe. Yeah, she's firing up already. It's going to make this fire burn real hot so that we can get the steel heated right up to red hot and then form it a little bit of pounding and so on, and we'll have uh, some curtain hangers in no time. We should do a cooking show. How to cook steel. Ah, look at that, eh? Okay. Just gonna heat her up a little more for one more bend. The thing about being resourceful is hard work. We're talking about how to be resourceful, how to do the things we need to do so that we can be successful. And uh, I'm gonna get these curtain rod hangers made for my wife. I'm gonna paint them up, make them look real sharp. She's gonna love it. Well, you know what? I think we have the perfect curtain hanger. Okay, I think we can start cooking ribs now. We got the fire nice and hot. Whoa, no, there's the perspective. The guy's got ribs right up to his armpits. Right up to my armpits. <laughs> The secret to becoming resourceful is the discovery that the resources we need are not in things, they are in people. When we learn how to identify and mobilize the gifts, creativity, and abilities that God has put in people, we break through the barriers that tend to confine us to smallness. Our resourcefulness lies in mobilizing you into your Great Commission destiny. When we work together, we surpass our limitations and walk in the place of God's promise. Remember, God called the promised land a wide place in a large land. In Deuteronomy 8 9, God said that the promised land would be a place without scarceness. There would be no lack there. In the stones there would be iron and we could dig brass out of the hills. Resourcefulness, we have to go get it.